right. <laughs> now I want to I ask a deeper question. We know, I mean, everyone that watches your YouTube knows that uh, a year ago or a little bit over that, like uh, you were fired from your job. Yeah. Yep. And um, I, I've talked to you about it, but mm -hmm. I'm curious, like when that happened, you know, you had an awesome job. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. It was very, very comfortable. Yeah. Very, you're making real good. Plus, you had your online. Everything mm -hmm. was going awesome. So when that happened and like life got a little bit more challenging. Sure. Did it make you better at this now? Like, of course. How, how did it change your life when you got fired? So for that to be a fair statement, it's, it's worth going back to the idea that I didn't get fired in March and walk in the house and say, I'd like to start an apparel company. <laughs> yeah. I, I had a job for five years that paid me, you know, a, a six figure income. I have a, a company truck that requires not a whole ton of my time to actually do the job well. Um, it's a sales job, right? It's and and I'm, I'm not in the yeah. office, it's, it's great, and it's what I do. I am a salesman, I know that that's what I am. I'm a communicator and do it well, at least I think so. I think um, so. And so. I would buy from you. Right, but, but, I, but I'm also not the guy that had this job that's cushy and put my feet up. Yeah. I didn't need the stress of starting an apparel company that for two years I didn't take a paycheck from. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like I, whatever is in me that was the drive there to find a thing that stimulated me because that job didn't, I, I found, I, I made I it. Totally get it yeah. And so now if we look when I got fired and we're three years in, and at that point the brand has grown enough naturally and organically that you know, I was able to do things with the brand in the first three years of running it that weren't, we have to sell something because I'm broke. Yeah. I was never do. desperate. Yeah. I just got to do things I wanted to make. And make it cool. Yeah. And, you know, one of the rules that we try to stick with with the brand, um, you know, a censored version of it is it's either hell yeah or no. There's no middle ground. Mm -hmm. And you don't always get to make those decisions when, when you're drowning. Yeah. Right. If you're a guy and those bills have to be paid, you got to do it. Those bills got to be paid. Yeah. And that can, that can get in the way of creativity. It could get in the way of being genuine. Yeah, totally. Um, but I was fortunate in that. Right. And so when I got fired, it was definitely, definitely the time to say, all right, pedal down. And I took job interviews and stuff like that. Cause I mean, you're a sales rep in that industry for 10 years. People are going to call. Right. But at that point, whenever people started calling, uh, it was it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> I had interviews and stuff like that, and people were like, you know, uh, we've seen that you've worked. Uh, I don't know whose accent this is, but we've seen that you've worked. <laughs> this just corporate guy. Yeah, it sounds like uh, corporate yeah, guy. Yeah, corporate I, guy. I, corporate I, dude. I, I knew exactly yeah, what you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen that you've worked in the industry for blah blah blah, and you've had some success. You've come highly recommended. Uh, you know, we'd love to have a meeting with you. I'm like, yeah, that's great. You guys want to meet for lunch? And so I would go have a lunch with them. Free lunch. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, whatever. Free Waste of my time, basically. Yeah. And just went in with, I don't need their job. I have a thing. Yeah. I have a thing yeah. that I love doing. Yeah. And as far as I was concerned that if I'm going to work for you, yeah. you're going to pay me for this not to run because right. I don't know that I'll have the time. Right. So you got to pay for that and pay for me to work mm -hmm. for you. So you got to pay a lot. A ton. Yeah. Right. And so I would just look at people and give them an, like, you know, an obnoxious number that, that whatever I felt, I gave them a number that if they came back with it, I go, well, all right, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like, well, yeah. Yeah. all right, I'll do that. I'll do that you. for two years yeah. until they yeah. fire me. Wow, and I, I go back to doing that. Because right? yeah. <laughs> <Just, laughs> that's the way this goes. Because I don't, I didn't care about it. Um, and had found a thing that I, that I liked doing, yeah. you know, that pushed me to be creative and think and problem solve. And so, you know, went into those meetings and, and, you know, they'd be like, well, you know, uh, do you have a resume? I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't. I uh, worked for the same people for 10 years, and you know who they are. And if that sheet of paper is the difference between you deciding to hire me for this amount of money or not, Boy, then I don't really want to work. Does having this other thing change your confidence? Just wow. don't give a shit. <laughs> wow. Big yeah, wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, the truth is I didn't want the job. Right. Yeah. Right? I didn't right. want to do it. Right. It makes but me want to do an interview just for fun now. But you ah. took the interview because you knew you kind of needed yeah, yeah. to, well, just in case. Why not? You know, yeah. It, it's always worth the conversation. Yeah, right. You guys want to have me? Right. Here's the deal. Right. Do and, and 
do I think I'm worth you, to your company with that amount of money? No. No. <laughs> but if <laughs> but you'll that's pay me, what I'll it do it. it. Yeah. yeah, if yeah. you pay me, I'll do that's it. That's what it costs. Right. Because I may not be able to travel and compete. I may not be able to do this other business. I may not have time to do these other things that I love. And now you got to pay me for that too. Mm-hmm. Yes. you got to pay me for that bit of my soul that I'm going to give you. And, you know, when, when I got fired, there was, there was a, also a really weird shift of, you know, perspective and, and stuff in my life of my, my income essentially got cut in half. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's a big change. Yeah. I don't care what the income is. And no matter how well you've lived. Right. You know, it's a big change. It's a big change. I didn't realize how much anxiety and how much I disliked the job I had until I didn't have it. Yeah. And yeah. my wife, you know, she's like, I've just never seen you happier than this. And I'm not a down guy. Yeah. I've never, I've never seen you down. Right. Of course, you know, I see you at trade shows or. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of, so of course. Of course but, but, but this is me. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have another thing to fake. Right. I don't, I don't have a good enough memory to be a liar. <laughs> and, and so, you know, it was, it was this realization of like, I'm not sure my happiness is worth whatever this dollar, dollar amount is. Right. Um, a lot of that, there was, there was a, a weird spot. Um, so if we go back again, so Hate Brand started at the end of 2014. Um, I'd written a couple books, stuff like that, over the couple years before it as some advice from Windler. Uh, you know, basically, I remember sitting down, he's like, anyone ever written a training manual for the Highland Games? And I'm like, no. And he's like, are you gonna? And I was like, I don't know. And he's like, if you don't, I'm gonna. And I was like, well, I will. Yeah. And did. Yeah. Um, didn't set the world on fire. You know, I didn't get to retire from it or anything right. like that. But it's out there and still sells. Yeah. Perfect. You know, it's good information. I'm proud of it. I don't need to write a second version of it because right. none of it's wrong. Right. Um, my old man passed away in April of 2014 yeah. and died at 62. I was 31. And I kind of had this feeling of, am I halfway, man? Yeah. Am I halfway there? Yeah. Wow. It's deep. And I mean, chances are I'm not. I take care of myself. But I don't know. I, I mean, could get hit by a car on the way back to your place right, tonight. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? That, that is a reality. That's yeah. a very big reality yeah. going to his house, yeah. Right? <laughs> and so, you know, having that idea of like, now's the time, man. Yeah. Now's the time to act. Stop waiting for Monday or tomorrow or whatever this other thing is that you think exists now. Nah. Get moving. Right. And that, that fire showed up and hasn't gone away. If I am still for too long, I get very anxious. Oh, yeah. Me too. I just feel like time is wasting. Yeah. Um, and with that has come, you know, different ideas about stuff. Like, how do, you, how do you make the most of time? How do you slow things down? Because we all get really comfortable with routine. And the next thing you know, like, oh, man, you know, the Arnold – Arnold's here tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what, five weeks? Yeah. Yeah. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I I look at different travels and stuff like that I've had that that are, you know, life changing and meaningful and experiences. And I think about ten days that I spent last year in Iceland with some friends. Right. And I can talk for hours about being in Iceland and experiences and food and sites and landscapes and all these things, right? I want to go for sure. I I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um I can tell you so much from those 10 days of my life, but I can't tell you a whole lot that happened in the eight weeks I laid on my couch after surgery. Yeah. It's flatlined. There's no stimulation. There's nothing new. There's no new life experience. Nah, it I is totally just yeah. Groundhog's Day. It is doing time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I just, for the life of me, man, I, for me personally, I just can't stomach the idea of, being a guy that wakes up at 60 and said, I was 20 yesterday. Totally. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, I have never had a year of my life thus far that I am, that I would want to relive the previous year than the chance of what the next one brings. Keep going forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and those chapters are going to change and shift. Look, I'm not an athlete anymore as far as a competitive athlete. You moved pretty well last night. Yeah, he was, yeah he right. You know what I mean? But yeah. 
but I'm not the best in the world at a thing. And like I told you yesterday, the chances are I won't find another thing that I'm best in the world at other not, than being not, me. Not many people find two yeah. right. things. I am the best Matt Vincent. Yeah. And I know You're actually really three or four Matt Vincents, so yeah. got them. <laughs> You're the sexiest one I know. In like, I love yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's With the beard. Let, yeah, it yeah. is. Let me ask. Hey, guys, now do me a favor. Go subscribe to our channel. Like our videos, comment. I promise you if you comment, I'll get back to you and answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.